of the Looking and Feeling Your Best at Any Age channel on YouTube just stopping by with a quick video because um, you may have seen the progression of the videos that I have on this new channel. Um, well, you know, I'm talking about my skincare regimen, talking a little bit about eating, you know, doing your nails, doing all sorts of things, um, even a little bit about um, talking about hair, clothes, things like that, all the things that um, are part of my looking and feeling my best at any age, as well as exercise. However, you may have also seen me talk about, like, you know, my midlife crisis and how there was a time I was addicted to um, Intamin's chocolate-covered donuts and even one of the videos that I did previously talking about middle-age eating hacks. Um, you know, how, like, yeah, I avoided fast food and, you know, don't drink sodas, don't drink alcohol and all that good stuff. And praise the Lord, at 51, I'm still wearing, you know, outfits like this that I bought. I don't know, maybe back in 2009, whatever, Calvin Klein dress that I got from, um, I think, Ross for $39.99, whereas um, the same type of dress was at Nordstrom, you know, talking about on sale for like $112 back at the same time. So, um, you know, buying clothes at a discount store is still a part of looking and feeling my best and the middle-aged eating hacks. However, no matter how much you exercise, if you go crazy in any particular area that um, that is your weakness, and sweets happen to be my weakness. I'm not a person sitting around eating cheese, you know, drinking wine, um, eating steaks or baked potatoes or mashed potatoes or any like, anything like that. That's not my weakness. Sweets have been my weakness, and because I'm getting ready to go on a trip, and a little over a month um, and you know I want to wear my two-piece bikini and everything which I still can do um, I see a lot of people you know that are a lot bigger than I am that are wearing their two pieces but I want to feel comfortable and I want to look and feel my best so I have been trying to get my um, over um, eating of sweets under control which I'm at about day 10 of no cookies, no donuts, no chocolate or whatever, um, unless in the form of like some cocoa with my coffee. Um, that's not a bad thing because that's not really my weakness. I drink that in the morning and I keep it moving. I'm not trying to eat that stuff in the evenings and I'm back to my not eating after 8 o'clock, um, which has been like a constant, you know, for the last 10 plus years. So anyway, I just wanted to share, you know, my update. Like I said, um, I'm still in the same outfit, but I'm trying to work on some of the um some of the things that have crept up with those chocolate covered donuts like you know a little bit of the love handle business and the thing that is one of the most annoying things is one like the little fat that likes to you know pop up here and then i don't know if you can see it in this dress but like when i zip this up today i noticed like a crease of back fat that um had the audacity to show up fortunately i wear backpacks most of the time, but that's just not good. That's not me looking and feeling my best at any age. So I am back to my Italian ISIS. Well, I haven't left in the last 10 days. You know, even my husband was saying, what, you know, what secret snack do you have here? And I said, no, I don't have any secret snacks. We have the Italian ice and the lemonade and the cherry version, 100 calories, no fat. I already had it before 8 o'clock. That's it. And so he says, well, what else you got? Do you have anything else? And I said, yes. You know, I have... Um, these treats um, by Outshine because I, I love fruit actually and um, they're the fruit bars uh, with strawberry they're made with even more real fruit than before they say um, it's 60 calories zero fat zero sodium and I have to be honest and they all they all have sugar the things that I'm talking about because I'm not an artificial sweetener person I do like sugar I think our bodies know what to do with that it knows how to metabolize sugar but the whole aspartame and you know and the other things like saccharin and stuff like that it's all giving me a headache every time I've ever tried it and so and it also makes me feel a little queasy so I think that that's a warning system for me saying no you're not supposed to you know do the um, artificial sweetener so I don't do that and I look for sugar so I looked on the label and it's like you know fruit syrup or whatever um, you know but it's actual stuff that your body can metabolize. So anyway, it doesn't taste like much of anything with the first three or four sucks. You're like, what the heck? But if you keep sucking and as it starts to um, melt a little bit, you do taste the strawberries and it is something that will get you over the hump 
in a pinch. And so, um, so I told my husband, you know, here, take this, go somewhere and sit down and eat it. And I think he did. And, um, he was able to make it through the night because he's trying to lose weight as well. His big problem is he's not a consistent exerciser. The redeeming grace that allows me to still be in this dress, you know, seven plus years later and not, you know, like to the point where I can't breathe. I can breathe, but I'm not as comfortable as I like to be. But because I've been a consistent exerciser at least five to six days a week. And um, in fact, um, I've boosted my game like up to like eight, um, 80 minutes on the treadmill because I'm trying to get back to six miles a day. I know I'm OCD. I'm not saying that anybody should get to that point, but like I just want to see how long I can t continue that um, because it makes me feel really, really good. And, um, and I just like the way that I feel after. So, um, so anyway, just wanted to let you guys know I'm still hanging in there and I'm still trying to um, maintain my um, addiction-free lifestyle for the, the donuts and the cookies or whatever. And you'd be amazed at how different your midsection looks when you're not indulging in the fatty, um, high-carb, um, things that really add no value. The Italian ice, I feel just as good afterwards, and I'm really starting to see a difference in my midsection. So eating an act like you have good sense, coupled with um, really good exercise, and I've been taking my little walks after dinner as well, just to let the food digest. Um, and it's so funny, like um, I work hardcore in the mornings, but in the evenings, I'll just probably put on some of my um, Skechers yoga foam flip-flops, keep this dress on and I'll walk, you know, like about a half a mile to the corner and then, you know, walk back another half a mile. So I throw in like a little mile, you know, to add some more steps. So I'm getting the 10 to 15,000, you know, steps that are recommended um, in this latest article I just read. So I think I'll post that on my blog at Your Best at any age.com. So I think that's about all that I have to say. For anyone who's you know curious about my afro um, and how I'm pulling it out, I at night still spritz with the odd cooling moisture mist and um, and I went back to trying the Pantene hydrating um, buttercream blah 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 in their gold series. I mean I had mixed emotions. Um, whatever I put on my hair in the evening adding oil to it or whatever. My hair still winds up being dry so to pull it out this morning I used again Vaseline so that's how I'm pulling out my afro for anyone who's interested. But guys Hopefully this helps somebody out there in their quest to look and feel their best at any age because that's what I'm doing and I hope you are too. Thanks so much for stopping by. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.